Hello everyone, this is Bradley Sward, and this video today is the 2022 Advent of Code solution for the part 2 of day 11, the problem known as Monkey in the Middle. So it's been a while, so I know for part 1 there's a bunch of monkeys throwing stuff around, and there's a bunch of rules de de determining when they throw stuff around, and these items get, what do they call them, worry levels and things like that, and they get thrown around, and your goal is to figure out which monkey touches things the most and the second most, how many times do they touch them, and then you multiply those digits together and you get an answer like this, this is my part one solution. So then for part two, and he goes, well that wasn't so bad for 20 rounds of, of slinging these things around, but the question was, well now there's 10,000 rounds to go off of, and the rules are just the same, and you know what, to be honest with you, of course, if you had all the time in the universe, the algorithm that you would have for part one would work for part two. But the problem becomes, that everything gets slower and slower and slower as you start multiplying these numbers together. And if you go back to the data here for this, uh, I don't want to show everything, because I know I'm not supposed to be showing off everything, but if you're squaring something, wherever that thing is, here it is, old times old, if I'm squaring something, I'm doubling the number of digits up to, you know, basically I'm doubling the number of digits in the number, because 9 times 9 is 81, 100 times 100 is 10,000, you are you are duplicate, you're 999 times 999, you're doubling the number of digits that the number needs to maintain, and if we're doing 10,000 rounds and possibly, you could do that 10,000 times over where you're doubling the numbers, that number could get to be such a huge number that it would take your computer months, if not longer, to figure out what the modulus of that divisible by 2, and then by 5, and then 19, and so forth and so on. So the question becomes, how do I reduce the numbers down as they get larger and larger, such that they don't lose any of the fidelity when it comes to their divis divis divisibility by all of the various factors that you see from the various monkeys? And so that was where I very, it took me about a day to think about this, about how all of this might work. And then I came up and I found my solution here. So the, the whole goal of this is to keep the numbers below the product of all of the divisibilities multiplied together. And you can see maybe, I don't remember how much I've changed since my part one video at this point, since it's been a while. But I can say there's eight monkeys in total. My threat level was a three for part one, but now it's reduced to a one. And there's going to be 10,000 rounds of this to go through. And basically all of the math and everything else is going to be the same when it comes down to this. But now, but down here it says, oh, let's take all of the, the, the monkeys divisibility values. And based on my data set, this is where I can find that data for each monkey in my set and I multiply those things together and I get a huge number. Uh, but I know that this works because I was just checking through all of my data, all the divisibilities are prime numbers and they're distinct, unique prime numbers compared to all the others. So if I multiply that together, and if I ever get a number larger than that, I basically can modulus by that value and it will reduce down, but it will keep all the divisibilities for all the different values that it needs to maintain and that's the big key. How do you know? Say, how do I reduce my number down to make it smaller so it can be a faster, uh, a faster modulus operation, but keep all of the math the same? And that's exactly what I did. And down here, all I did down here was just add this mod. Whenever I was going to add a new number into the mix, I just modded it by that ginormous number. What norm? What number is it by? The way? Like nine? I think it starts with a nine. It is a yeah, this number here, 9,699,690, that is the number to modulus, at least in my case, that maybe you can reduce that down. I probably can't because it's all prime numbers. That's the prime factorization of this. And so if I modulus all that, you can already see the answer that I have down here, but you can see it takes about 10 seconds or so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, eight, whatever. You see the point. And then there's my number there. It ends in 8815 which very nicely matches up with my solution. Oh, that's the different problem. Uh, 8815, it matches up with the 8815 down here below. And now I have a uh, general working solution that I could probably work for any number of monkeys in any number of rounds and any number of nonsense. So anyway, so that's my video. Thanks for sticking it out with me as always. A little behind. Um, now it's time to move on to day 13 and possibly day 14. I only got a couple hours to think it out. So thanks as always, guys. Have a great day. Uh, I'll see you later in future videos. Take care.